So I want to take a look at three other examples of using the quick search function. On the other hand, at present, and then for fun, we're going to look at uh, some part of speech uh, searches, adverb plus adjective plus effect. So let's look at the first one. On the other hand, I'm going to research, reset my search, make sure quick is function, and I'm going to search on the other hand. I'm going to limit it to academic contexts. And here we go. So what can we see here? Well, the first thing I'm looking for at, to the left, I see some punctuation. I see commas. I see some periods. Um, I, it looks like you know, I have like a subject and then comma, on the other hand, comma, right? So I can, I can put the subject before I use on the other hand for some things. Um, so that's one use. But if I scroll down, I'm seeing something slightly different where I have a period and then just immediately starting the sentence with on the other hand. So it looks like I could use this in two different ways. Right? I could, uh, I could put the subject of a sentence at the start of the sentence, use a comma, use the phrase on the other hand, and then another comma, and then continue my sentence. I could also use it just at the very beginning of a sentence, uh, like a transition or like a logical connector phrase, and just continue my sentence on. Uh, but it looks like in all of those cases, I would need some kind of, uh, I would need a comma. Uh, after using that phrase. So again, that tells me that I need some punctuation use, but also that there are multiple ways that I could use this phrase in my academic writing. Let's take a look at another one, at present. Academic. I'm looking at keyword and context. So here is the phrase at present, right? Um, so again, one thing I'm seeing right away is I can use this uh, not, I don't need to use it at the beginning of a sentence, but I could use it, if I zoom in a little closely, what am I looking at here? I'm seeing uh, a verb phrase, has become. And I see that it is interrupted by this adverbial phrase, has at present become, are at present being used. So it looks like I could use that in this way. Here's another one, may at present be distracted. So it looks like if I wanted to, I could insert this phrase uh, in some cases in the middle of a verb phrase. But if I'm scrolling down, you know, I can see some other possible uses. And right here, I'm seeing something that perhaps you might be a little more familiar with using at present at the beginning of a sentence as a logical connector. So here I have some punctuation, period, period, semicolon, at present. So it looks like I'm either starting the sentence or starting uh, a, an independent clause using this phrase as well. And, and it looks like I have a couple of options again. Maybe I need to use a comma for some, for some instances, um, like below. Um, but maybe I don't need to use a comma for those similar instances above. So again, looking at the context, seeing if it matches your own context of your own writing style. Um, and, and it's nice to see different varieties. You know, writing is, uh, you know, you want to be some... Uh, add variety in your writing, and this might be uh, one way to determine that. Um, the last thing I'm looking at is just something a little fun. Um, sometimes I like to combine uh, and, and see uh, some, some common uses. So right here, I'm using the part of speech search function, and essentially I'm looking for adverb plus adjective plus effect. So I'm looking for these uh, three word phrases. Um, again, academic writing, and let's take a look. 
So we have a lot of different variety in these types of ways or in these types of phrasing. Uh, again, let's look to the left. What do I see? I'm seeing a lot of article use, right? Uh, a very strong effect, a very large effect, the most obvious effect. So I'm seeing some article use and, you know, telling me that obviously effect probably needs an article in, in many cases. If I'm looking to the right, um, I'm, I'm seeing some other patterns of use. I can see some prepositions, uh, much larger effect for, um, significantly better effect from, a uh, little long-term effect in. So I am seeing that uh, some t a lot of cases, uh, I'm effect of something, effect in something. Um, so that's one way that I can see that this is used, effect on something. Um, so, so these are uh, important pieces, grammatical pieces and vocabulary pieces that you might need to take into consideration. Uh, when you are um, using some of these phrasing, if you are unsure of it. Um, and if I keep scrolling down, I'm seeing an even a, a different variety of use, uh, very large effect size. So I'm adding, I could add uh, the noun size on here to make an even longer noun phrase. Um, more positive effect than. So again, maybe using comparative language. Uh, so again, these are all uh, different ways to use this that you might not have um, even known about before. So again, uh, the quick search function, very useful for uh, looking at search terms within their context and seeing how they could be used in different ways in your academic writing.